after that cliffhanger ending. Hanging. After that cliffhanger ending of Dark. <laughs> after the cliffhanger ending of Dark Crisis. After the cliffhanger ending of Dark Crisis number one. Hello everyone and welcome back to Piranha Comics for your weekly comic book update. If it's your first time here, what we generally do is go through the number ones of the week and any other significant issues I can think of, along with any other trade paperbacks or hardbacks I might have gotten in this week. So, first up from Ablaze, Promethe 1313 number one. I got a bit excited when I saw Sorrentino's name on it, then realised he was only doing the covers, but it is what it is. If you like sci-fi stuff, give this one a shout. Astronaut Down number two. If you got number one, number two is now out. There's something wrong with Patrick Todd number one. Teenage serial killer vibes. You know what it is. From AWA, Absolution number one from Mike Diodoto. Giving off very Blade Runner vibes. I'm very interested to read this just to find out why Diodoto seems to have made a passion project out of bashing technology. This is the latest in that saga, I suppose. So yeah, excited to read it. From DC, Batman 125. Chip Darsky's taking over. And Jorge Jimenez is back on the art, so honestly, killer creative team. Definitely worth your time to jump back onto this. It's been so popular so far that we are pretty much already sold out. So if you want a copy, hurry up. Batman 89, number six of six. The last issue in Batman 89. This has been a long time awaited. It's been delayed after delayed after delayed. So finally, you can finish this series. Dark Crisis number two. After the cliffhanger ending of Dark Crisis number one, you're going to want to pick up number two to see what happened. DC vs Vampires number seven, the main series is back. The one shots were all well and good, but I was definitely missing the main series. Poison Ivy number two, I've heard nothing but good things about Poison Ivy number one. If you can find a copy of number one, this is definitely worth your time. On to Image now, The Closet number two of three, so there's only three issues to do the whole lot. I loved issue one, it was dark, creepy and claustrophobic and everything that James Tynan does well. I'm pretty sure we still have a couple of copies of number one, so come pick up one and two, get the whole series in you. Ghost Cage number three, the final part of Ghost Cage. If you're a Nick Dragotta fan, this series has been just great for his art. Definitely recommend for any East of West fans, that's all I'm going to say. Prodigy, the Icarus Society number one. We all know it's a Mark Millar sequel, but from what I've seen of this first issue, it actually looks pretty good. Prodigy was really cool as well, so definitely worth your time with this one. I don't know what it is about Chip Darsky and just making me excited to read comics, but... Public Domain number one from Chip Darsky. Entirely Chip Darsky, writing and art. This is all about a comic creator's kids fighting to get the rights back to the superhero that he created. I cannot think of anything more relevant for the current climate of comic creators. Again, from what I've seen of this, I haven't had the chance to read it yet, but from what I've seen of it, this looks amazing. Starhenge number one from Liam Sharp. Sorry, Starhenge book one, The Dragon and the Boar, number one. It's always names. Liam Sharp is a very talented artist. All you have to do is read Batman Reptilian and then his run on Green Lantern with Grant Morrison to know that. He does all sorts of different styles so, so well. And this is absolutely no exception. It's just as off the wall as you'd expect him to be. Now, oh, come on, man. You're not going to see any panel layouts like that again anytime soon. And then Slim Pickens from Marvel this week. Jane Foster and the Mighty Thor number two. First issue really impressed me. I didn't expect to actually like it. I thought it was just going to be, you know, Thor movie come out, take Thor comic. No, this has actually been pretty good. Mjolnir actually has a reason to come back to Jane, which, you know, that's always positive, isn't it? What If Miles Morales number five, the final part of What If Miles Morales. Don't judge the whole series by issue four. It's actually been pretty good. And this is the final part, so if you missed all of it, it should be collected very soon as well. So, for our manga fans out there, we actually did get some new manga in this week, which is nice. Death Note Volume 1, this is one of the few anime that I've actually seen. Uh, I'm actually quite interested to read it and just find out if it's as good as the TV show. For DC, I have restocked on Rorschach. Anyone who is even remotely a fan of Tom King, you need to read this. It's so good, and it's one of the few Watchmen tie-ins that doesn't just completely do it dirty. It takes the world and expands on it, it doesn't try and change anything, it just keeps everything intact while adding something new. Fantastic, cannot recommend enough. For Marvel I've had a couple of restocks as well. Alien Volume 1, Bloodlines. Alien comics were with Dark Horse for a very long time, so that just became the standard. 
Marvel now have the license and I like it a lot more than I thought I would. And last but not least, Ultimate Collection of Miles Morales Spider-Man Volume 1. This is as ground floor as you can get for Miles. This has his first appearance, 12 issues of his solo series and the Spider-Man miniseries all in one book. If you're looking for an introduction to Miles, look absolutely no further than this book. It is the perfect thing that you need. Uh, I've got a big image delivery. <laughs> I'm going to go through alphabetically because I don't know how else to do this, it's, it's a lot. Bone Orchard, The Pathway, so Bone Orchard Volume 1. Crossover, Volume 1. Department of Truth, Volume 1. Firepower, Volume 1. I'm so happy about this one. Friday, Volume 1. Again, I'm very happy. Geiger, Volume 1. The Last Days of American Crime. Noctera, Volume 1. Yeah. Oblivion Song, Volume 1. It looks cool. Pulp, Trade Paperback Printing. A Righteous Thirst for Vengeance Volume 1, Stillwater Volume 1, and for the Walking Dead fans out there, Walking Dead, the Alien hardcover. IMAGE! <laughs> I've been waiting on that image delivery for a very long time and I am very happy that it is here. There is still more to come though, folks. There is still more to come. So, that's it from me this week. If you like what you've seen, please leave a like. Let us know that we should keep doing what we do. I'll see you next week for more brand new comics. Lana, Piranha.